Hello, beloveds. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're returning. This is Sherry Mosley, and we'll be doing the new moon check-in for October 16th, 2020. My goodness, what a week. <laughs> or what a couple of weeks since the full moon. Um, the time is definitely speeding up. So there's been a sense of things to do that are in alignment with all the changes to, that you've made. So you could either be stepping into a lot of these new things, uh, work, relationships, hobbies, whatever those are that are reflecting the new energy, or if there are still things that you are releasing that have been trying to clear out, those will be very brought to the forefront to allow them to be cleared out so that these new things can come in, right? We cannot bring in the new things without first uh, releasing the old or that which is no longer in alignment. So uh, this new moon is quite um, accelerating, I guess you could say. So I hope that you are in a place that you are feeling aligned and you are seeing all the new beautiful things or the things that are, they may not be new, but they are of your highest truth, right? And these could be simple things um, like, uh, let's say you really like photography and you stopped for 10 years and all of a sudden you feel inspired to do photography again. And so you bought a new camera and now you are uh, being pushed uh, by your guidance or a nudge or you feel really excited to go out and take more photos like you used to, okay? So whatever was blocking you from aligning with that excitement has been removed. So that's an example, okay? And that can be happening, and it was a lot happening in relationships for people, uh, any relationship, this can be uh, romantic partnerships, business relationships, family relationships, friendships, so all relationships. So you are really being called to look at who you are in these relationships. What is your truest self? Is your truest self showing up or is it a patterned version of you? Are you following ancestral karma or patterns uh, or the ego patterns to show up in this relationship? Or is it the true authentic you that is showing up and being present in this relationship? So there is a lot of transformation being called to take place in relationships. And it has been, as we know, the astrology has been putting a lot of focus on this area. So I hope that you are able to gracefully embrace these transitions that are occurring, the transformations that are occurring, and stepping forward into these new or revitalized practices or ways of being that truly resonate with your soul. And so now we're going to connect with the Elohim, the beings that help us bring our material manifestation into its highest blueprint, as well as the councils of light, the higher councils that are overseeing all that is, and uh, helping guide and work with the Elohim to bring us into our highest divine blueprints and allowing our paths to unfold from there. So we're going to check in and do a light language DNA upgrades or alignments that are occurring during this beautiful new moon of October. Kotuana kate kishiki ata katare kotuana koto no koshokoto akatare katatuana kashakiara katara koturo kotuane kotuande ke kiara kashakatara kotuata kashakatan na kato koto to katana kashiki eti. Ishikiata kato no koto no koata ate ene. Ikiana katera koto no koto de ikia shakatata anane. Anane keshikato koto no koto ara akatane. 
Akatana koto, shakatana katara koto, kotoane, kotoana, kashakatana ke ektiara, ektiara kotoana, kashakatara katoare, kotoro kotoane kiti, shiki ini kiata katano, katono kotoare e kiata, kashakatare koto, kuata ana kete e kiara, e kiara kashakatana ke kotoane. Kotuane ekiata ashikiata akato. Release that which you know is not truly serving you anymore. Staying in it is only creating karma, disharmony, and imbalance within yourself and or the relationship or situation. Ki ukutu no ko kotuare ekiana, ketiana ko kotuane keshikiata, ekiana kashakato koto. Kotona kata ekiara ekiara akata shakotona ko kotoata kotona kata ekiata katare ki ekiara ki ekiara kotore eshiki ata anane anane kewata ara ke ekiara ko kotore kotoro kotona kata shiki ekata ene ene akata ene akata no koto koto ana tiata ki Tiana kete ki ashakato koata koata katane ke ki arakatara katara koto ane onoroku to rukuto are eshikiata ana ana nekete ki uto etu kuto rukuto ana kata ki ashakatara koto ara koto ara katana ke ekiata ka ara akatara koto ata ata ekiara 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 katoa ne shiki etia katoa katoa no katoa ta. So this is a time to no longer put off that which you know is true. It is time to be your truest self in all expressions of what that means to be that truest self. And for each of you, it will. Resonate out from you in different ways that the world will become alive with. And this is the inspirational energy that the world needs in order to continue to grow in the beautiful ways that she can, no longer being immersed in distortions of what truth of being really is. So be an example of what it is to be like as your true self and living in this presence and through this expression. The extended transmission for this new moon is actually, it was already done at 12.30 p.m. Pacific time, which is when the new moon uh, was actually occurring. And this longer transmission is part of an Aqualorian crystalline light healing session that I did with AcousticHealth.com. And you can go ahead and sign up to download that below. I will put the link to that below. And there is some light language and then it is mostly very high frequency energies coming in doing a personal healing session with you so you can read the full description of that it is a very powerful session the aqualorians hold a very high frequency ninth density healing modality that allows you to reset your dna back to what it was before you incepted into this incarnation even prior to your soul's path being written in your Akashic Records for this time. So there's a full description on the website, and I go into more description in the Zoom video. So it is like an hour and a half session that you are receiving with that, and there is a follow-up session coming in. Uh, We'll be here doing that next Friday. So if you feel called to do that, it's a great time to really align with yourself in this powerful way with this beautiful healing modality that the Aqualorians have brought forward 
Um, as I've said, I met the Aqualorians in Mount Shasta, and so this is continuing to bring that healing work forward. So if you feel called to connect with that, you can go ahead and click that link below. If you need a personal shamanic Akashic record healing or Akashic or a light language session, you can book that online with me for your personal session, uh, doing any personal clearing or personal light language upgrades, we can do that. And there is also the Akashic Enlightenment trainings, so you can learn to access your own Akashic Enlightenment. And there is also the Aqualorian Crystalline Light Attunements. So these are three levels of learning this modality and becoming attuned to the frequencies so that you can use them in your own healing practice or on yourself. So if you feel called to sign up for that, that is another option that is now available on my website. All right. Uh, just a reminder, too, that my second book is still um, freshly available as of August, uh, The Origins of Humanity and Ways of Esotericism as Known by the Light, and that is available on Amazon. All right, hoping you are all doing well in these powerful transformational times that we are living through, that you came for. I hope that you are enjoying your journey, sending you all so much love and light, and I will speak to you next time. Bye for now.